chat GPT makes mistakes, all AI does, and it can be a convincing liar, what people call hallucinations. That might be an innocent problem in the opening of a judiciary subcommittee hearing where a voice is impersonated, mine in this instance, or quotes from research papers that don't exist, but chat GPT and BARD are willing to answer questions about life or death matters, for example, drug interactions. And those kinds of mistakes can be deeply damaging. I'm interested in how we can have reliable information about the accuracy and trustworthiness of these models and how we can create competition and consumer disclosures that reward greater accuracy. The National Institutes of Standards and Technology actually already has an AI accuracy test, the face recognition vendor test. It doesn't solve for all the issues with <coughs> facial recognition, but the scorecard does provide useful information about the capabilities and flaws of these systems. So there's work on models to assure accuracy and integrity. My question, let me begin with you, Mr. Altman, is should we consider independent testing labs to provide scorecards and nutrition labels or the equivalent of nutrition labels, packaging that indicates to people whether or not the content can be trusted, what the ingredients are, and what the garbage going in may be because it could result in garbage going out. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think that companies should put their own, here are the results of our test of our model before we release it. Here's where it has weaknesses, here's where it has strengths, but also independent audits for that are very important. These models are getting more accurate over time. This is, as we have, I think, said as loudly as anyone, this technology is in its early stages. It definitely still makes mistakes. We find that people, that users, are pretty sophisticated and understand where the mistakes are that they need, or likely to be, that they need to be responsible for verifying what the models say, that they go off and check it. I worry that as the models get better and better, the users can have less and less of their own discriminating thought process around it. But I think users are more capable than we give, often give them credit for in, in conversations like this. I think a lot of disclosures, which if you've used ChatGPT, you'll see about the inaccuracies of the model, are also important. And I'm excited for a world where companies publish with the models information about how they behave, where the inaccuracies are, and independent agencies or companies provide that as well. 